Good morning, Bronco families. It has been a busy week. Today is Friday, the 6th of May, um, and happy first Friday in May. It was Educator Appreciation Week, so thank you very much for all of the wonderful cards and gifts and kind words. Um, it's been an interesting year, but I, I really appreciate all of you, and, and we feel loved. Um, on Tuesday, Miss Hack was honored at our school board meeting as our Bay Teacher of the Year, so yay, Miss Hack. If you see her or if your children have her, make sure they congratulate her. She is an incredible educator. And we are very lucky to have her at bay. And then on Wednesday, um, a bilingual author, Matthew Gullip, came and did virtual assemblies for our kids. That was really fun, too. Next week, we have CASP testing for third through fifth grade. Um, please, if your student is taking the CASP, make sure that they have breakfast, they sleep the night before, um, and let them know that this test does not define them. The expectation is not that they know everything on the test, it's just an opportunity for them to show the things they do know. So we shouldn't stress about it, we're just going to do our best. That's the, that's the message, that's always the message. Um, and then on Thursday we have our Papa Murphy, Murphy's fundraiser, so I hope you will participate in that. Um, as I mentioned last week, I believe, uh, May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and so I have a wonderful book to read to you called Laxmi's Mooch by Shelley Anand. And there are a lot of words in here that are in Hindi, and so I tried to look them up and I try, I'll try to pronounce them correctly. Please, um, if I pronounce them incorrectly, forgive me. And then if you know how to pronounce it, feel free to come to me and let me know. Laxmi's Mooch. Hi, I'm Laxmi. Come here, closer, you see that? That's my mooch. What's a mooch, you ask? These little hairs above my lip. It's okay, you can look. I never really thought about my mooch until the other day when my friends and I were playing farm animals at recess. Zoe was a horse, Noah was a cow, and Zoe said, lax me, you're a cat, okay? I wanna be a chicken, I said. But you're the perfect cat. You have these little hairs on your lip like cat whisper whiskers, said Zoe. I do, I asked. Meow, said Noah. Yeah, you have a little mustache, like my dad. My cheeks grew hot as a steaming bowl of mummy's aloo gobi. I went to the bathroom after recess and looked in the mirror. Zoe was right. I did look like a cat with small black whisper whiskers. Meow. I sat at my desk with my hand over my mouth so no one could see my mooch. Everywhere I walked, I thought I heard kids whispering, meow. The whole day I kept noticing hair all over my body, on my arms and legs and knuckles, even in the space between my eyebrows. When I got home that afternoon, Mummy asked, how was school, Beta? Well, Zoe said I'd make a good cat, I said. Ah, uh, you're my little Billy, she said. No, Mummy, she was calling me Harry. Huh, I thought we named you Laxmi, said Papa, looking up from the roti he was making on the stove. No, look, I'm hairy. I have hair all over my body. I have a mustache. Hun, I also have a mooch, said Mummy. But Mummy, I thought mooches were just for boys like Papa. Nahi, you know we've come from a long line of women with mooche, said Mummy. We do? Like who? From Mughal, Emper Mughal empresses and stately ranis to village girls and city girls, even your nani and cousin Radha. Everyone has a mooch, really. But I also have hair on my arms and legs. I have hair all over. Mummy shrugged. Tokaya. So what? Hair is just for your head. Mummy smiled. Nahi beta. We have hair everywhere. But why? It protects you and keeps you warm. Just feel it. So nice and soft, she said. But look at this hair between my eyebrows. Yes, it's lovely. Just like Frida Kahlo, said Papa. Who? I asked. Frida Kahlo. She was a famous artist from Mexico. Oh, I think it kind of looks like a caterpillar, I said. Caterpillars are the coolest, Beta. They build cocoons and become butterflies. First I'm a Billy, and now I'm a butterfly? I asked. That night, I dreamed about royal Bengal tigers prowling through the sunderbuns. Their long black whispers danced in the hot breeze and butterflies flew behind them, fluttering around their long tails. The next day at recess, Zoe wanted to play farm animals again. Let's play jungle animals instead. I'm a tiger with my long, silky mooch, I said. A long, silky what, said Zoe? Mooch, it's Hindi for mustache. Well, what should I be, asked Zoe. I walked up to Zoe and got really close. I saw tiny blonde hairs on her lip. 
Sure enough, she had a mooch too. You should be a lion with your shiny blonde whisper whiskers, I whispered. I don't have whiskers, Zoe said. Do too, I said. We both ran to the bathroom and looked in the mirror. I don't see anything, Zoe said. Move in closer. She leaned in so close that her nose left a little smudge on the glass. Oh, she said, and then slowly she smiled. When we came out of the bathroom, Noah was waiting for us. Hey, what about me? Do I have a mooch? He asked. Zoe and I both looked, but we didn't see a single hair above his lip. Nope, said Moot, said Zoe. Yeah, I don't see anything, Noah, but maybe we can draw one on for you until your real one comes in, I said. Okay, agreed Noah. <clears throat> a small group of the other kids in our class crowded around as I carefully drew a mooch on Noah's lip. Me next, called Savi. Me too, please, after Savi, asked Timmy. They lined up behind Noah for my world-class mooches. I don't need one. I have some hair there, Lucha smiled proudly. So do I, cheered Arazu. Pretty soon, everyone was showing off their mooches, real and drawn. So will you show me yours? Look, have whiskers, will roar. Laxmi's mooch. I hope that you enjoyed this story, Laxmi's mooch. I enjoyed it very much. Broncos, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And remember, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. Take care and I'll see you on Monday. Bye Broncos.